From an airport built in the middle of the sea to the most expensive highway construction project in US history. On this episode of Built a Billion, we present to you the five most expensive construction projects ever built. Was there an expensive construction project in your area that had a huge impact? Let me know in the comments below. If you love to hear about all of the massive mega projects of the world, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like to help us out. Number five, the new Suez Canal. The original Suez Canal was completed in 1869 and is the shortest water route from Western Europe and the Indian and Western Pacific Ocean. At over 193 kilometers, it's still one of the world's most heavily used shipping lanes. To emphasize the importance of this route, a six-day blockade a couple years back cost the world a trade loss of $50 billion. About 12% of world trade passes through here and only one shipping lane, allowing 49 cargo vessels a day on average. So, in 2014, Egypt started constructing a 35-kilometer long shipping lane parallel to the original. The project also deepened and widened part of the old Suez Canal. It was finished a year later, costing $9.2 billion, and the new upgrade allowed for two-way traffic and decreased the waiting time for ships. Now, the number of cargo vessels that can pass through the Suez Canal will increase to 97 by 2023, generating $12 billion of revenue. That's $8 billion more than what was made in 2014. It's one of the most expensive construction projects ever, but I'm pretty sure the new Suez Canal was worth it. Number 4. The Channel Tunnel Let's go to the sea now, shall we? The Channel Tunnel is an undersea railway that runs 50 kilometers or 31 miles and connects England to France through the English Channel. It's the longest undersea channel in the world. The idea for this tunnel was first conceived as far back as the 1800s, but lack of technology postponed the project a couple centuries. This was they were ready a year later, they began to drill on their side as well. They used lasers and special survey equipment to make sure the two sides would actually meet, and to everyone's relief in 1990, both sides reached each other. The entire project took six years and costed a total of $12 billion. It was truly a feat of civil engineering and was named one of the seven wonders of the world. This was an expensive project, but there's one tunnel on the opposite hemisphere of the world that ended up costing even more. Number three, Boston's Big Dig. This project was approved in 1987 to take the place of the Central Artery Road, which could only accommodate 75,000 vehicles per day. But more than twice that was actually using it, creating 10 hour delays. The plan was to build an eight lane underground highway that would run six kilometers under Boston. Construction started in 1991 and was supposed to finish by 98, but there were delays. There were environmental concerns due to the project's close proximity to the Boston Harbor. Consequently, Boston couldn't get the correct environmental permits until 1994. Not only that, but there were two subway tracks in the way and the substance of the soil wasn't right. Foundations of buried houses and sunken ships had to be moved out of the way. Obviously, Boston had the most extreme version of sweeping stuff under the rug. They even discovered things from the pre-revolutionary era. This all caused a delay of nine years and the project wasn't completed until 2007. The construction endeavor that was supposed to cost $2.8 billion ended up costing $22 billion, including interest and won't be paid off fully until 2038. But the project has resulted in an improved flow of traffic in the area and can handle 250,000 vehicles a day. In addition, the project has reduced the carbon monoxide in the area and the demolishing of a previous highway under construction has allowed space for green projects and parks. Was Boston better off with a big dig? All my Boston people let me know in the comments below. Number two, Kansai International Airport. Now for the world's first airport to be built on an artificial island. The Kansai Airport is one of Asia's busiest airports and operates 24 hours a day. When approved, the location of the construction didn't even exist. So first, they had to construct an artificial island that could hold an airport. In 1987, a 30 meter layer of earth was laid on top of the water by crushing three mountains and then pouring them onto the seabed using thousands of sandpipes. And voila, there was a 4.5 kilometer long and 2.5 kilometer wide 
artificial island sitting in the sea, completed in 1990. The airport was finished and opened in 1994. After some modifications and the addition of a second runway, the cost of the project had risen to $24 billion. But the engineers knew what they were doing, and the Kansai International Airport became a smash hit. 28 million passengers used the airport in 2019, and it ranked third in Japan. But never fear, expansions are underway that will allow the airport to accommodate 40 million people per year by 2025. Number 1. Beijing Shanghai High Speed Railway The most expensive transit project of all time is a railway in China that cut travel time in half and was completed in only three years. The 1,320 kilometer long railway costed $40 billion and was opened in 2011, serving 1.3 billion people in its first decade. Every day, 41 bullet trains that travel 350 miles per hour depart from Beijing and pass through several cities before ending in Shanghai. And it all takes five hours. This same trip took 12 to 14 hours before the introduction of this high-speed railway. In just 2019, the railway transported 210 million passengers, with 798,000 passengers taking the trip per day. Even though the project costed $40 billion, it was a huge success for the taxpayers that funded it. The Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway generated close to a billion dollars in 2015, and its net profits increased about 40% every year since. In 2020, the railway went public on the New York Stock Exchange after the IPO raised an astounding $4.5 billion on its first day. Not only was this Chinese mega project the most expensive transit project ever, but it is the most profitable railroad line in the world. Have you experienced one of these construction projects? Let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe to Built a Billion and leave a like if you enjoyed this content. I've also done a video on the most useless mega projects ever constructed, and that should be on the screen. So click that video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen, and thanks for visiting Built a Billion.